In this question, we have the task of distributing 16 gifts among four children. Let's divide this task into four stages. The first stage will be to give four gifts to the first child. Once we've done that, we'll give four gifts to the second child, then four gifts to the third child, and so on. Now, in how many ways can we give four gifts to the first child? Before we can answer that question, we have to answer an important question. Does the order in which this child receives these four gifts matter? In other words, is receiving gifts A, then B, then C, then D different from receiving gifts B, then D, then A, then C? And the answer here is no. The order doesn't make any difference. The child still receives the same four gifts. So since, for, since order does not matter, we are looking at a combination type question. Okay, so the first stage we have 16 gifts. And of those 16 gifts, we want to choose four of them for the first child. The number of ways to accomplish this is 16 choose four. Once we've given the first child four gifts, there are 12 gifts remaining. And of those 12, we choose four of them for the second child. This can be accomplished in 12 choose four ways. Now we have eight gifts remaining, so we can give the third child four gifts in eight choose four ways. And finally, with four gifts remaining, we can give the last child four gifts in four choose four ways. So the total number of ways to accomplish the entire task will be the product of each individual stage. At this point, we want to evaluate these values. So we'll use our formula for combinations. And let's apply that formula here to get the following product. At this point, we can do some simplifying. We can cross out our 12 factorials and our 8 factorials to get the following. And since the denominator features 4 factorial times itself 4 times, we can rewrite that as 4 factorial to the power of 4. And we can see that this answer is exactly the same as answer choice C.